Sir? Sir! Oh, I can't. Please, sit down. OK, ladies. I'd just like to ask you a few questions. Nice uniform. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Well, now, Michelle. OK, sir, I would just like to state for the tape. There is no tape. That we are completely and totally innocent, and this is a horrific miscarriage of justice. Grant. Excuse me? Here's where we're at, girls. I'm actually a boy. OK, love. We've had several reports of suspicious activity on the grounds of Our Lady Immaculate College this evening. Following up on that lead, we discover you five on the premises, that the locks of the side door have been forced and the alarm system deactivated. Now, we can't get hold of the headmistress, one Sister George Michael. George Michael? But the caretaker has informed us that a substantial amount of computer equipment seems to have vanished. We didn't take it. What were you doing on the grounds, girls? We went there too. We thought that we could. We were just trying to. Break them. We would like to speak to a solicitor, please. All in good time. For the tape, the inspector is refusing us the right of legal representation. There is no tape. Well, why can't we speak to a solicitor? I didn't say you couldn't. Oh, you're trying to stitch us up, Archie. Why would I do that? Because we're Fenians. That is a very serious allegation, girls. Are you denying that your organization is prejudiced, Inspector? For the tape, the inspector is refusing to answer. There is no tape. If your organization isn't prejudiced, Inspector, then oh, you won't mind telling us how many Catholic officers are serving in it at this time. I think we're losing sight of who's questioning who here, girls. How many? Well, if you count the Jewish fellow from uh, Palomina, three. In the entire police force, you have three Catholic officers, and one of those officers is a Jew. Lovely fellow, by the way. He is, yeah. I would like to speak to our lawyer immediately. Who is our lawyer? I don't know. Look, we're just trying to work out what happened here, girls. It was Hans. Hans? Hans and his friend, they did it. Hans. You know, like Hans Christian Andersen. His mother was Danish. Do you think you could describe this Hans? Well, I could pick that or sort of a lineup. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. OK, before this goes any further, you're minors. We need to get a parent or a guardian down here ASAP. Who would you like us to call? Can you just give us a minute? We can't call my mom. Well, we're not calling mine. Mine neither. Do not look at Orla. Her ma is just an extension of my ma. What about someone's dad? Oh, dads can't be trusted. Oh, dads are in the pockets of mares. That's true. Dads are just my neighbors. Well, who then? Oh, God. There's nobody. They'll just wear us down until we say we did it. Well, we forced to sign false confessions. There's no way. Right. <sighs> what if we wear them down first? Oi. I know who we should call. So, as says to myself, says I, Colm, who'd be ringing you at this hour? And sure, if I hadn't been in the middle of a Maeve Benchy, I'd have probably slept through the thing altogether. Or wasn't we asked him? I can't remember, sir. Jesus. I'm like a dead one. Mr. McCool, if I could just... Your nieces and their friends claim they saw the men we carried out this burglary. We did see them. They've given us some rather vague descriptions. Hardly vague. I apologize, Miss Mallon. You did provide us with quite specific details of the suspect's rear end. Apology accepted. We also gave you a name? Nobody in Londonderry is called Hans, girls. Well, you say that now, but there's a young lad up in Pennyburn uh, called Diego. Is this relevant? The mother, she's a dairy woman, but the father, he was Spanish, though not on the scene, by all accounts. Thank you. If we could just... Alex, don't leave me. Pardon to the is mother, he, himself, sir? Uh, Diego's father, this is. Well, he came over with the Spanish Armada, then cleared off, leaving her to raise the way in on her own. But that story didn't totally add up, was the thing. I need you to stop talking, man. The problem being that the Spanish Armada landed here in 1588, 
and that the son, uh, Diego, as you call him, well, he was born more than four centuries later. I will caution you. She made the whole thing up. As mad as a bag of cats she was. Sir. And she had been clattering the way in, in non-fake tan stuff to make him more Spanishy looking, you know. There's a van matching the descriptions on CCTV. Which is high suspicions were raised, you see, because there was a powerful whiff off the wee crater. That'll do it. Thank you very much for your time. You've been a huge help. We'll take it from here. We can go. Yes, please. Do go right now. And for the love of suffering Jesus, take him with you. Thank you. You're a legend, Carl. A legend. Thank you, Carl. Any time, Wayne. <laughs>